Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Essentials, the Henry's Avalanche Talk Essentials. My name is Henry, and the theme of, uh, of this talk is very much accident reduction. The idea that if you know how to reduce the chance of an accident, you can make things safer, and therefore you make things much more enjoyable. And this doesn't just go for ski touring, off-piece skiing. It goes for everything else we do in our lives where there's a risk. And uh, take, for example, maybe going swimming at the beach. And that's something that, that everybody can pretty much relate to. And speaking of everybody, this talk is for everybody. It's for beginners as a point of departure, and for people who are with experience, as a guide to, to risk management, a guide to risk management and focusing in on what's important, what the priorities are. And it's really a complement as well to other, other training courses, a complement in the sense that you can use it in tandem with that and uh, focus in on the priorities. If your priority is accident reduction, reducing the chance of an accident or um, the impact of, 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 an, of an avalanche. And it's true that we, we talk about impacts and avalanche, danger and accidents and things like that. Uh, but the, the reality of it is that, uh, that, that travel off-piste, avalanche terrain, ski touring, actually can be v surprisingly safe. It's been shown that if you apply what I refer to as key accident reduction points, you can think, keep things surprisingly safe out there. Uh, the thing is, though, is that you, if you're not applying these key accident reduction points, then things can be uh, pretty dangerous. So for those of you in this sort of TED Talk kind of mindset or time frame, I'm in the, this first sort of 10 minutes or so of, of, of the talk, uh, I'm going to share with you, show you how you can reduce the, the chances of an accident, therefore keep things a lot safer, uh, by just applying even just a few of these points. And you can reduce them perhaps not as much as, uh, as you would need to, or definitely not as much as you would need to, to, to keep things uh, as safe as they could be. But by applying just a few of these key points, you can really, really reduce the chances of an, of an accident uh, by an, an enormous amount. So when I think of risk management, risk reduction, I think of a framework, um, the framework where I put in the points that, that really matter, that really have an impact on, on, on reducing the chances of an accident. And so here at Henry's Avalanche Talk, we have this framework that are the, the key points that were not applied in just about all accidents. And for this very very short, quick overview of how to reduce the chance of an accident enormously in less than 10 minutes, a less than 10 minute overview on how to do this. We're just going to focus on these three points here, slope angles, terrain traps, and the essential avalanche rescue equipment. Now, if you just take these first two points, most seasons, uh, or many seasons, the, the, the number of, of, of accidents that happen because of people skiing on steep slopes above terrain traps make up 50% or more of, of, all, of all accidents. So it's people skiing on steep slopes, which are steep slopes, steep slopes are above 30 degrees. 30 degrees is the threshold at which um, above, uh, you're going to be able to trigger an avalanche that will be of consequence to you. Below that, you're not going to be triggering an avalanche that can have any consequence to you. And terrain traps are things that, uh, that increase, exacerbate, make worse the consequences if you're taken in an avalanche. They can be narrow valley bottoms. They can be cliffs. They can even be trees. Anything that's going to make the consequences of an avalanche worse. So if people were were um, if 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 people as a general rule were avoiding 
steep slopes above terrain traps, especially when there's, spe when there's fresh snow, we would reduce the number of avalanche accidents and deaths, severe injury, enormously. And you can see how you can do the same for yourself. Reduce the chances of an accident, a severe accident or death to yourself in avalanche terrain if you're avoiding steep slopes over terrain traps. Now, if often the terrain trap, the, de the deadly terrain trap in question is a narrow valley bottom uh, or a hole, uh, even just a little dip in the terrain where not even a lot of snow uh, built up and became um, quite a bit or enough to, to bury the victim. And if the, the victim's friends didn't have the, um, the equipment that's needed to, 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 bury, uh, to take you out from underneath the snow, uh, that includes this this, uh, this 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 equipment includes the um, avalanche tree transceiver probe and shovel. Uh, if if the friends of the victim didn't have this equipment, the 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 victim was most probably die died or most probably died before the organized rescue got to them. Uh, why is this? Well, it's because uh, a you can't move when you're underneath the snow. Even a little bit of snow, you can't move, so you're relying completely on your mates to get you out from underneath the snow. Um, and, and, and B, the general rule is 15 minutes for someone who's taken and buried underneath the snow uh, to, to be able to, to be taken out alive. Now, of course, there are exceptions, but that's the, the, the general rule. The general rule is, is that... Uh, is that you need to get the victim out within about 15, 15 minutes or so. Yes, 70% of all uh, victims of, of avalanches, uh, or at least deaths due to avalanches, are due to suffocation. And so that's why it's so important, not only to have the transceiver, but to have the shovel and probe pole, probe pole as well. So, so, so these points you can see ha can have a, a huge impact on the chance of uh, of avoiding a severe accident um, or 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 injury if they are applied. Now they're not enough to keep uh, to keep you safe um, or as safe as you you could be. And for for that, what you need to do is 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 look at all of of, of the points that maybe come through here. Um, and I can show you on the screen. Uh, the, all of these points uh, are needed to, in, in order to be able to to reduce or achieve the goal of of, of reducing the risk or the danger of of an accident to a reasonable level, like. Um, everyday activities, driving a car for an hour or so. If you say it's as dangerous as driving a car uh, or as dangerous as base jumping, then that's a lot, a lot clearer. And uh, if you want more, more information on that, you can see, again, the risk of riding in, in, in avalanche terrain by Bruce Tremper. And that's just part of an overall uh, larger uh, uh, research project that was conducted by, uh, by not only Bruce Tremper, but Bruce Jamieson and a whole number of people in the international avalanche safety community uh, that were trying to define uh, what the risks are and help it easier, be easier for people like you and me to compare it to what dangerous really is. Um, some specific uh, points of reference. Um, all of that in view of uh, helping people, again, to, to have, a, have the best time possible uh, and get the most from their time in the mountains. And that is what this Essentials Talk is all about. This Henry's Avalanche Talk Essentials, here where safety is freedom. Ooh, holy cow. That was fun. That was awesome.